everyone, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hey Barbies and Kens. And today for you, I have everybody's favorite. I know it's one of my favorites because I'm kind of living in between houses and I kind of hate it. Have you ever had that point in your life? Maybe you have when you're younger, older, maybe you're doing it now. But I stay with my boyfriend quite often than not. And then all oh, my shit is at my house, which is kind of frustrating because I'll be looking for something and I'll be here or there and I won't have it. And then I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I feel like I've accumulated just random things from house to house that I've like purchased in the last couple months. And everybody loves my collective haul videos. So I figured I'd give the people what they want. And also I'm trying to clean up a little bit in here and get rid of some stuff. So uh, check out down below my eBay. I have a lot of new clothes, handbags, handmade art, just really odds and ends you wouldn't even think would be over there. So I guess we'll start with, we just had 420 pass and my dispo gave out these freaking awesome hats and they also gave out shirts. So I grabbed a hat for myself and stickers, but that's what my shirt says. And then here is the back and these are like all very nice quality products, by the way. I was like, ooh, like, this isn't a piece of crap. I could actually wear it throughout the summer. So these were in my travels. I was like, found these in my car and I was like, let me put these away finally. I just hung the shirt up because I'm being productive. Anyways, uh, the next purchase were, I shouldn't have bought these heels, but I did for one of my fashion shows over a couple months ago. They are Chinese laundry and I feel like I could do flips in these girl. These shoes are so freaking cute. I love that they're like a nude leather kind of shiny look to them. I think they're super cute and I love them on and modeling. I look excellent eh, in these shoes. All right, here's my next one. So I haven't, as you've noticed, done Goodwill videos. I have a lot of product right now that needs to go and that's why. That's why I'm like, check my stuff out. If you see something you like, grab it. Um, in the summers, I like to go to big markets and take because i have a hatchback so i can just fill it up with a bunch of stuff put it out and sell it as is so when i do that i'll usually make a list and then that night i go onto my ebay and depop and i'll delete you know whatever sold or art as well off of like uh, my art account which is my tattoo account so that's kind of what i'm going to be heading towards in the next month or so like going to these markets and trying to get rid of more stuff so i can get new product in so if you see something that you've been after, check it out, grab it. But I've been sticking my head in the Goodwill when I see something that I'm like, I can't live without it for my shop, I grab it. So this um, was actually put out 316, so like a month ago for $3. And that's why I grabbed it. Little markings right there, but that's the only markings that are bad on it. And it's a Baby Yoda doll. I used to have one of these. I am going to try to sell it. And if not, it's going to become a art project, which I'm excited because this has potential these i'm excited for i love like little odds and ends toys like this i like to make a lot of disney or if there's like a certain disney movie that i have a bunch of little toys from i'll make a lot of those items so let's see what we have in here we have a teletubbies keychain of the bunny this will probably just sell on its own that's pretty cool we have a little senor donald i think this is from I know a Disney movie. I think like Hercules or something. This is a, I don't know, some kind of like Hellcat toy or that's what it's like a guy would ride in there. What else do we have? Oh, little vintage keychain of a zebra. I love these bags. This is cute. It's just a little generic woody boy. I think he might be going into the vault for me. I like him too much. Oh, this is another reason why I grabbed the bag. I wanted this for myself. I love the 101 Dalmatian toys. I made so many of them. And I don't have all of them. I just kind of collect the ones that I like. This is from Burger King. I think this is like Hunchback toy. That's what it looks like. Uh, the Pamper. This is from Disney. The Black Bear. What is that movie called? Jungle Book. Oh my gosh. I just go Black Bear. This looks like it's broken off of something, this random wing. I'll probably throw that out. This is kind of cool. What is this from? 
1989 Hasbro. I have no idea, but he's just like an air pilot. Very jolted, man, jolted, jolted, jointed, jointed man, not jolted. Oh my God. I don't know where he's from. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Who's in here? Mufasa. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I have a Lion King lot that I kind of want to add that to possibly. Or maybe a Disney lot. Up him. This is awesome. This is a 1983 uh, Ninja, not Ninja Turtles. Oh my God. Power Ranger, my brain. Like bendy guy. I've never seen anything like this. This is pretty cool. Maybe I'll put him by himself. I'll have to look him up, see what's up with him. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of biased. I want him for myself. But uh, Oh, this is cool. Little uh, Lion King stuff in their mouth. That's kind of fun. Like I said, it looks like I have a bunch of stuff I can add to my Lion King lot. What's in here? There's no stickers, no nothing. Just a Simba in a box that's unmarked. I have no idea, but then again... I love it. The Tonka yellow truck. What else? What else? Ooh, this is cool. A little Buzz Lightyear. He looks very pale in there, though. He doesn't get a lot of sun in space. He's neat, though. I like this little one. A little dirty. Would have to be cleaned up a bit. Um, no idea what this is from. It does say Disney on it, so maybe a play set or something. It kind of gives um, Aladdin vibes. And then this is from Disney. I have absolutely no idea what movie. Maybe Pocahontas vibes. <laughs> what is this? Oh, another Power Ranger. Sweet. I like these mini ones. These are pretty cool. His joints are a little messed up. They seem like they're stuck in one position. They don't want to move. But oh, well, still really cool. Up, oh, we have a Spider-Man. I don't know if it works anymore. Kind of some kind of watch product. I don't know, the screen looks weird, like it might be broken. Or the batteries just ran out. Um, this is from... Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? My brain, Burger King. Um, is this Hunchback? I think this is Hunchback as well. So lots of Disney ones. Aw, he's cute! So it's just Mickey in a car, and when you look through it, um, you can see like a picture of a kid Disney 40th on Space Mountain. That's fun. And the picture looks so old of the kid. This is, this is cute. This will probably go into the vault for me. I love Disney stuff. Up, we got a bouncy ball of a Pokemon. Do you guys remember these? I was obsessed with these. Me and my brother as a child. That I'm actually probably going to keep for myself because I don't think I have that for my Pokemon collection. This definitely looks like it's from Aladdin. This guy. And then we have a little Pocahontas. She's like sort of dirty. I think I need to like scrub her down. She's like shit in her hair. <laughs> but that's all that was in the bag. And then I have some items I found at the flea market. Because you know I can't stay away from these places. So this dog I've been doing like forever. I need to finish the video. Like a how to get out stains video. Because as you could see it had like really bad staining. But I used um, several products. I was trying to get the staining out and not ruin the fur on it. Because obviously this is a vintage stuffed animal. So I got this dog. And then if you didn't know, I love bears. And then I have a bear as well. I'm still working on getting all the spotting out of this one. And like I said, that will be on a video. Because I think it would be cool to have a video to show how to get like rough um, spotting out of stuff like that. Like the dirt. Because the red is pretty clean. It's just... The white in here that I need to do. So I got those two and then this is Allergy Annie. I only really know that because I did so much research on this doll to find it. It's going for up to $200 online. I got her for $5 because I bought her at a time. Me and my boyfriend found her at the market when I was very congested from his freaking cat and I was like that looks like me. This is what I've been going through. Uh, she is from I believe a um air cleaning company. I forget the exact name, but I could throw it up on the screen if I find it again. And I love her. I thought about selling her, but I like her too much. And my best friend, when she comes home in the winter, she wants to get a tattoo of her. So that would be interesting because this doll is crazy looking. <laughs>
So that's everything I accumulated over the last couple months. If you guys liked the video, please thumbs it up. Subscribe down below for more, for daily videos, daily shorts, live streams from time to time, and a little bit of gab. <laughs> I'll see you all in my next. Bye.